Hi there, second grade. Mrs. Copenhaver back again. Hey, been a couple days since we've seen each other. So it's good to be back. And I'm here with our next lesson for Compass Mark. And that is today focusing on how the way we think affects how we feel. Did you know that that happens? That when things happen and we have certain feelings, it can affect the way we think. And then those thoughts can affect how we act. And guess what? The way we act will determine how we're going to feel afterwards. Kind of sounds a little confusing, doesn't it? Yeah, it can be sometimes. Thoughts and feelings and the way that we act when we're feeling that way you just don't know which comes first. But I want to take us back a couple lessons to when we were talking about staying motivated when we work on our goals. And do you remember how we were saying that stopping the negative thinking, all right, so getting those negative thoughts out of there and putting positive thoughts in instead? can help keep us motivated? Well, that's because the positive feelings make us feel, or there I go, positive feelings. Those positive thoughts help us have what kinds of feelings? Pleasant feelings, right? Positive thinking can lead to pleasant feelings. Okay. So if my thoughts are not positive, if my thoughts are negative, what kinds of feelings do you think that's going to lead to me having? Probably difficult feelings, huh? Okay. Well, behind me, I have a poster, and this poster is going to help us walk through an example of the difference between positive thinking and negative thinking, or pleasant thinking and difficult thinking. Okay, so here we go. Let's look at our poster back here. I'm going to try and bring the computer a little closer here for you, the camera a little closer. Okay, now let's look up here. At the top, you'll see it says, happy thinking helps. Okay, well, that is true. Happy thinking helps. Happy thinking being our pleasant thinking, our positive thoughts. So let's walk through these two different ways of thinking about something. Now, right underneath of happy thinking helps, we have an example of a situation that can lead to us feeling maybe a kind of difficult feeling. So here we go. Here's what our example says. I have to clean up my room before we can go to the movies. I feel very frustrated. Sounds like they want to just be able to go right to the movies. They don't want to have to worry about all that cleaning up and stuff. That just takes time, huh? So I have to clean up my room before we can go to the movies, and I feel very frustrated. Well... This goes hand in hand with our last lesson, huh? We said when we have a difficult feeling, it's important to be able to put into words how we're feeling, right? So right now it sounds like our friend has is staying calm, so they're calm and they're able to put their feelings into words. Now let's see what happens here. In our first column over here, this is going to be our, our negative thinking. Over here is going to be our positive thinking. Now, as you can see by their faces, both of our friends are feeling frustrated that they have to clean up their room before they can go to the movies. Okay, so both of them are feeling the same emotion. They're both frustrated. But now, let's read 
what our friend on this side is thinking. My room is so messy, I will never be able to get it done in time to go to the movies. Does that sound like a positive thought that's going to help her? Or a negative thought that might make her feel a little less motivated to meet her goal? Sounds a little negative, doesn't it? Okay. Now let's see what our friend over here is thinking. My room is so messy, but if I work hard, I can get it done fast and we can go to the movies. Does that sound like a negative thought that's going to hold her back or a positive way of thinking about it that's going to get her motivated? It's a more positive way to look at it, isn't it? And it gets her motivated because she knows. She's thinking, if I work hard, I can get it done fast and there'll be plenty of time to make it to the movies. All right. So, which one do you think is going to get their room cleaned? Probably friend number two, right? So, let's see what happens. Now, she was thinking her room's so messy that she'll never get it done in time to go. So, here's the action that she takes. I'm not going to even try cleaning since I am certain I can't get it done. Uh-oh, so now let's look at her room here. She's got toys still laying outside of the box. Her roller skates are out here. Her bed isn't made. There's blankets laying and clothes laying on the floor. She really didn't try, did she? So what do you think's gonna happen here? Do you think she's gonna get to go to the movies? Hmm? We'll have to wait and see, huh? That'll be in our last one. Let's see what happens on this side. So over here, our friend was thinking, well, my room is so messy, but if I work hard, I can get it done fast and we can go to the movies. So that was what she was thinking. Her action, I'm gonna work hard and stick with it so I am ready to go. And look at her room. Do you see toys laying on the floor? No. Nope. They're all inside the toy box with the lid closed. Her bed is made, her teddy bear is sleeping on the bed up there. Okay, so she got it all done because she believed she could get it done. She told herself, if I work hard and I stick with it, I'll get done in time to go. Do you think the way she was thinking helped her? By thinking positive, it gave her the motivation she needed to get it done. On the other hand, our friend over here was not thinking so positive. She had some negative thoughts, and so she didn't get anything done in her room. All right. So now, last, last square down here. So we started off with a situation and our friends both saying that they felt frustrated. And then one of our friends had a negative thought about it. The other friend, a positive thought. Our friend that was thinking negative did a negative action. She just threw in the towel and said, I'm not even going to bother trying. While our friend who was thinking positive worked hard and got her room cleaned up. Now let's look over here. Now we have a new feeling. We started off, our friend started off feeling frustrated. She had a negative thought that she's never gonna be able to get it done. She decided that I'm not even gonna bother. Her action was to do nothing. Now her new feeling, I'm sad I can't go to the movies now since I didn't clean up. So now her new feeling is feeling sad. She went from feeling frustrated to having a negative thought and not doing anything to help herself out. And now she has a new feeling and it's another difficult one. It's feeling sad now. But look over here. 
How is our friend over here feeling? Her new feeling is, I'm so happy I get to go to the movies now. Why does she get to go to the movies? Because despite feeling frustrated to start with, she told herself, it's okay if I work hard, I can get this done fast and I'll still be able to go to the movies. So she took the action of sticking with it and working hard so that she got done really fast and she was all ready to go in time to get to the movies. The difference is the way we think, guys. Using positive thinking can help keep us motivated and can lead to us having a pleasant feeling. Pleasant thinking, positive thinking, leads to helpful actions or positive actions, and that leads to us having pleasant feelings again. Who knew that the way we think could have such a big effect on us? But it does. Can you think of times where the way you were thinking affected how you acted and affected how you felt later? There's lots of different times that can happen. Yeah, sure there are. I know my kids talk with me about times that things like that happen. And I often encourage them when they have schoolwork to do that they're really frustrated about. And they're thinking, I can't do this. It doesn't make any sense. I encourage them to take a little break and then to come back with a new way of thinking about it. Okay? To think about it that okay, yes, this is hard, but if I really try my best and take my time, it will make more sense and I can get it done. Okay, lots of different things that we need to do like that. If we think the positive thoughts, it will help us to do the actions we need to do to get a successful result. So I want you guys to think about that. I really encouraged you to, to talk with your family and think about goals you had for yourself. But now I encourage you to also, not just in goals, but just in your everyday life, catch yourself in how you're thinking about things. When something frustrates you or angers you or makes you feel nervous or worried, frustrated or scared, I want you to step back and I want you to ask yourself, am I thinking something positive right now that's going to help me? Or am I thinking something negative right now that's going to keep me from feeling better. Because we all want to feel better when we have one of those difficult feelings, don't we? Like we said, they're uncomfortable. We don't necessarily like feeling that way. So we can start right up here, changing the way we're thinking to happy thinking because it's going to help. Well, boys and girls, I hope that you learned something in today's lesson that it's got you thinking about the thoughts you're having and that you'll be able to use this new skill to begin 
looking at things differently and thinking about things differently. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day today and see if you can't practice this new skill till we see each other again. All right. Bye now, boys and girls. Take care.